Hello and good day everyone. My name is Sebastian. Welcome to the Novice Prospect. And um, yeah, we're back in Space Engineers. It's a bit of a surprise stream. Um, my family's not in and I thought, well, I'm bored out my mind. Might as well do a stream. <laughs> so there we go. <coughs> um, we may or may not have people visiting in chat. Um, it's all good. I'm really just here a... Eh? I want to get a few things sort of cleared away before we do the actual episode 6. And that's why I call it episode 6-ish. Right? Um, I think I would like to refit the rover. Right, so I'm, I'm going to do a bit of grinding there and I'm going to try and, yeah, refit the rover in such a way that we can hook it up to base for energy, um, you know, amongst other things. Um, and then I think I would like to get started on uh, maybe a maybe minor. Let's call it an atmospheric minor for now. Um, but anyways. Last time we were sort of building this construct, right? And uh, I've spoken to Tarsus since then on Discord. And so he's reliably informed me that... This is normal. The amount of wobble we see here is expected. Okay. Cool. So let's turn the rotor lock off. Right, these guys should now... Um, so, now remember we, I don't know if I have set these up right, I can't remember it correctly and I, I would rather make sure, we have a piston that goes up, that should be set to a velocity of 0 0.02, nice, so when we reverse that, that will go down at that rate, into the ground. Those guys, because we have four, and I know I have one not properly aligned, but I, I promise you there is a fourth one there with a the control panel, right? Um, we have worked out last time that 0 0.02 divided by 4 is 0 0.005. So I would expect to, say, uh, drill down those four pistons to be set at, yes, perfect. And so the, the, the rotor is doing its thing. Now, Tarsus was also saying that we could be extending this out on this direction. Um, I've decided for now to save the resources. The, the thing is just going to do its thing. However, let's reverse this guy first. Right? I would like him to come in completely. Sort of down the way and sort of start making the, what I would call the pilot wall, I, I would suppose, while the rotation is happening. We can, in the meantime, let, let's go and get this welded up. Also, what's the build plan look like? Um, that's <laughs> That looked a little bit confusing there. Withdrawn successfully. Nice, put that in there. And we're done. As far as I'm aware, I have welded these guys up fully. Now, remember we have found ice last time. Oh no, I haven't. So, you would want some components, you would want some components, and you want some. You too. You're done, you're done, and you're done. Okay, cool. Let's go. Can we withdraw? Okay, it's a steel plate that's missing. Now, I wonder. It's being made is it's it's an iron thing. Now I wonder. Inventory, show me all, please. Yeah, see the basic basic refinery is doing this thing again. Please, please don't do that. Like, I, I know I brought in all this copper and that uh, cobalt. Sorry, not copper. Copper is CU. Um, but please, just just work on the stone just now. Um, I. Okay, so I'm going to extend the base a little bit. 
right? I, I have two things I would like to do right now, just to get this, uh, call it the inventory management a little bit up to date. Um, so, give me a new hotbar, yep, and then please, can I do programmable blocks? Yes, I can. Ha! That is good. Give me the components for one of those, please. Right, that's fine. Um, oh, right, we're, we're still working on this part, actually. Right, that's fine. But yeah, so we've seen it pulling in stone, though. No, that's, that's good, and it's working on it. Um, I imagine this is all stuff that's coming from the drills. And, like, okay. You know what? Survival kit has a whole bunch of stone in it, and I'm just going to tell it to... You're not doing anything, please. Just do this. You've got a whole bunch. We might as well let you work on that. Right, just to get more iron out the whole deal, and then hopefully we can... It's not... Yeah, it's you. I wonder if it's also to do with the uneven masses. Okay, we're just missing a little bit more steel plate, like 53. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're getting there. That's, that's good. That's, I, I like that. Um, so, yeah, as I say, program the block. And the only thing we're going to put on there is the uh, Izzy's inventory management. And I'll work you through that. I... I wonder, because those drills are awfully loud. Um, shut music sound. I can bring the sound down a little bit, let's say, but... Um, I think it's just part and parcel of the game, and I just don't want it to be too annoying for you guys. But anyways, so the, the rover is going to be sort of next... Enter, please. Um, we are switched on and I can just move it, right, that's all I'm wanting to do here, just boop, handbrake, come back off, also, maybe, no, it's fine, actually, we have a solar panel up, the battery should be charging and do their thing, um, and then I would like to sort of come out here and then I'm going to build another block of assembler and refinery, but I may try and go for the big guys. Depending on the resources here, right? So let's go and I would like to set up a button combination here. So the middle button I would like to be just no, just extend. That one is actually extend. Right? And this one is retract. And I would like the big button just because it's a big red button, I would like this to be a turn the drills on and off. Right? And I'm gonna let it finish a full rotation now. Um, don't need to test those buttons, I'm sure they, they work, but we can basically pull this whole construct back in again. Um, I may change it to a reverse and then set another button up to try and set the rotor to a specific position, to like a park position or something. Because, um, so the reason I don't want to do the four-way is I want to be able to sort of put it perpendicular to the base and just pull it in, if that makes sense. I, I want to be able to set it up in such a way that I can push a button or, yeah, something and then just say, okay, align that way and then pull in so we can actually bring it back in if we wanted to, right? That's sort of the intention there. Anyways, let's keep going. I would like... I know it's taking you some time and it's all fine. And I'm just gonna... Oh! It's not this side. It's that one, it's done, that one's done. It's just this guy. And we should be a little bit more balanced now. 
And am I just going to go through? I'm just wanting to make sure we're fully built up everywhere. But it, it looks like it. It looks like everything is fully constructed and yeah, we've not changed anything there really, so that's fine. Okay, cool. I, I like this so far and this is all came down, as I say, I'm just waiting for the full rotation to really get that. Yeah, see, you can see some voxels there that still need to be smoothed out and then we can drive the whole thing down. And like with four pistons, I'll be, I'm sure I'll be quite, uh, quite some distance there, like, no doubt. Anyways. We can actually say go and ignore that now, right? We're confident that's been done. Um, go and make those components, please. And then I would like to put a programmable block somewhere sensible. Uh, actually, yeah, this will do. And then we're just going to oh, turn it around so we can see the screen, right? And... Go and withdraw what we can, and actually we could withdraw everything. Nice. Right. Um, then there's one more thing we're going to need, just to, so we can see what's actually happening, if that makes sense, right? Um, again, and we're going to go for a... Oh, can I not make those yet? No, I, I, can, I can't, I can't. Transparent. Transparent is nice, but wouldn't quite work on what I have planned. So I think we're gonna just go with the normal one for this, right? Um gonna try and put it there. And I need interior plate. Right. Go and make what we need for that please. Oh I can't put that there. Oh that's a shame. Um can we put it against the side here? No that, that would have been too nicer. <laughs> Um, okay, we're going to... Mm, no, I, I don't like that. I... okay. I'm, I'm not entirely proud of it. But I'd rather do this. Right. Um, and they should be literally just coming right now in there. Ba -ba -dum -ba -dum. Skadoosh. Right, and then we're going to weld this block up as well. Are we still making steel plate? Like, I feel we should be. Oh no, we're not. Okay, no, that's, that's fine. Um, but I can just say, make, put those into production. Right. Um... Draw. Okay, perfect. And get yeah, that welded up. Didn't, 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 didn't. And we need a second one. Um, and and this is this is luxury. Like I'm, I'm not even gonna lie. That this this what I'm doing now. This is luxury. Um gonna put another screen up watch this because we, we can really make our lives a lot easier um, come on withdraw then make those um, and also so in case people are wondering I've decided not to use the music that comes with space engineers of decided to go with a stream labs uh, a stream beats uh, free playlist just because I felt it was a bit of a chill Sunday and I wanted to do something a bit more yeah relaxed <laughs> and I know I know this is gonna be ugly for now but bear with me we're gonna do more stuff to the base probably today as well just while we're at it um, stick that one there no not, not well uh, no, well, not grind, I mean. Um, okay, so let's start actually with the screens. I'm going to start with those, just so the script can just immediately find them, right? Um, and we're going to open the terminal for the screen. 
And what I like to do is just leave it as, as LCD panel, and then it wants a certain tag. In this case, the tag starts with IIM, as in inventory, uh, AC's inventory management. So like so, and then main. Okay. All lowercase ideally. The IIM you want in all caps and then dash underscore main. Um, just set it as that, burp done. Then there's another LCD panel. We're going to go and take that part away and call it auto crafting one. And so the, the, the way this works is if you have multiple auto crafting pages and it can easily happen the more components you make, right? Um, you can just use a second screen, name it auto crafting two, and then you have one page, two pages on each, uh, one page on one screen and the second page on the other screen and you can work on those lists. And we'll get into that very, very shortly, okay? Nice, so we've got the screens pretty much set up. Now we need to deal with the programmable block um, and we're going to say edit the content of this. Now remember what I said last uh, in the very first episode, we want our gamepad disconnected if we have one enabled, because otherwise the OK button will will uh, will not work. I've, I've just it just won't re re register the click, and you would have to do it through controller. And I feel like no, that's not what I want to do. So I just disconnect the controller, and you can do it in game. It doesn't matter. Like. The game's smart enough just to know, okay, disconnect it, let's go. Um, so, is this inventory manager? You just download it from the workshop, like Steam Workshop. Um, I've got a few other bot, uh, uh, scripts here that we may or may not use. This this we're going to use for sure. We're going to use this guy for sure. Um, now, this I'm not sure because Tarsus has actually shown me a link, uh, posted a link for me in my Discord. Or doing this without a script so this may be something we're going to try um, and then you get like auto door and airlock scripts uh, which we're going to use obviously later on in the series once we go into space right for now inventory manager double click it boom done there's a few settings you may or may not want to change right i'm going to go through them right now um you can say okay i want to balance the type container so everything else ors is going to get balanced uh for equal amounts across all containers. Um, she'll fill level in a container's name, so the, the name will also have a percentage afterwards of how full it is. Uh, will it automatically fill bottles stored in any other containers? Um, then what, what else do we have? We, we have you know, all sorts of settings. I'm actually not going to explain all of them. They are all well documented. And guys, if you have a question, hey, post it on Discord, post a comment, uh, or come into chat. I'm more than happy to go through it, but I feel like I don't want to just go and read off variables. Um, but if someone's got a question, hey, go and shoot me a message, right? I'm, I'll do my best to explain as best as I can. Um, and then you can say auto crafting, and then it says to you, okay, how do you want to name this? Right? You can change the tag. So uh, see how we named the monitor or the, the, the screen auto crafting. You can change that. Um, you can also say to auto disassemble if you have too many components. And I'm going to leave that at false at the moment because we've not got that many assemblers. Well, one. Um, you can teach recipes um, and then we're going to get to auto crafting on the screen when we get to it. You know, the, the enable ore balancing and uh, sort of refining queue. Yes, we definitely want an ore always to be refined first, right? Stone. Awesome. This is exactly what we want. Whenever you find stone, just deal with it get it out my way um or balance for two and h2 uh reactor handling all this good stuff um the lcd panels you know you can have one for just main or you can have one for inventory and warnings and performance i just normally use the main monitor is enough for me um and you know all sorts just Yeah, we, we don't have welder or grinder vaults, so we don't need to worry about this. But, you know, there is all sorts here. But all we need to really worry about is just hit OK once we're happy with the settings. And you'll see it doing its thing here, right? Script is running in station mode. Let's go and escape because we will see... Whoa, look at that. We have a screen already up telling us what our inventory looks like. 
right? And it takes a few seconds to move to update. Now, I should build new cargo containers. Well, guess what? That is actually a really good idea. Do we have anything in the build plan? No, we have built everything we wanted to build. Let's start. And I actually like that as an idea. Thank you. Um, script management, uh, inventory management. You know, it's, it's one of those things you get straight away. It gives you warnings like this. Um, well, go and make those components, please. And then, do we want it just there? I feel like, yeah, no, it should be fine. We've got to build one there, say. Um, and I can probably, uh, I would like to just get this build up. Um, put one there and there, right? And just extra cargo containers. Just, just leave me to it for a second. I, I, I want to try and get this cleaned up a bit. Um, and we can actually, right now, I, I like this. Let's let's go and go into the auto crafting screen. Right, it's not got much on it at the moment, but it's fine. We can deal with this with just F. We don't need to go through K and then edit text, you can just hit F and you will say, um, you will see this, right? Well, okay, um, let's, I, I'm going to tell my production thing, it go and just make a few things, right? Say, um, uh, and uh, I mean literally just a, just a few things that I feel are going to be needed all the time. We've got the big steel tubes coming, we've got power cells coming, construction components is a thing, computers are a thing, bulletproof glass is a thing, displays, sure, make make just 10 of sort of everything. If we made those guys, it uh, doesn't look like it. Okay, cool. Right. So. Let's just let him make a few things and we're going to go and weld cargo containers together. Right, just... Um, you know, we, we, we've put those into production anyway, so that's on top of what we've just done extra there. Right, okay, that's fine. Don't worry about it. Extra interior plate. We can deal with that afterwards. Um, Yeah, there we go. This is what I was waiting on. Because now we, we can actually change something, right? And all you ever want to deal with is the last column, right? And this is where you basically say how much we want. Well, look, for example, at steel plate, right? This, this is something that's always a meme. So let's just say, hey, I, I want a, a thousand in stock at all times. Um, and then I'm going to keep... Actually, let's, let's keep it at 500 maybe for now until we have more, you know, um, resources really available. Power cells, I would like to say 20 on hand. Uh, metal grids, hey, go and make me 20 of those. Large troops 10 seems fine. Interior plate, and we're gonna change these over, uh, as time goes along, right? Uh, girders 10 seems fine, that's, that's the guys I think that needs, no, is it grids? Okay, um, we'll do 20 girders as well. Um, displays 10 seems fine. Construction components 20 for sure. Um, and you can almost assume right now that anything that's 20 ish right now is going to be 50 ish. Uh, bulletproof glass might as well go 50 there because we're just lacking the, th the three. Right, and then just okay. And you'll see that in production we, we, we now have you know, quite random amounts, because it is actually making the things that we need. I love that, you know, this is for me exactly what I wanted. Because um, now I don't have to worry so much, and whenever I use components, and this is a beautiful part, uh, the, the, the inventory management is literally just going to replace those components automatically. It's going to keep them in stock. Right, and, and, and you can't beat that. Like just the convenience of that. What am I doing? I'm um, after steel plates and yeah, just give me them. I'll do me right because right now I just want a little platform to 
have come out here. Um, yeah, let's see. I, I know I'm, I'm still building it underground thing, but that is, that is for some other time. That's not for now. Let's go and just, you know, weld these guys into functionality. Um, and go and add that to the build plan as well. And then withdraw what we can. And then you see uh, things are at zero, and you see that with the A, it's, it's already telling the assembler, hey, we need more of that. And this is great. Um, I can assume that you've done your full rotation, by the way. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm sort of all over the place. It's Sunday. I didn't expect to do this. It's fine. Uh, nope. No, it's it's you. Right, and all f yeah, all four of those should now very slowly extend. But like total speed down here at the rotor is 0 0.02. So we're now cutting into the ground proper. Um, so I, I said to just. I'm just gonna go and do a bit of welding here. Um, and as a matter of fact, um, let's go and talk. Because now we're making components, right? Um, and we have a fairly reliable way of getting more. I feel we can a talk to build and repair i think the only thing it's building at the moment is just like conveyor no okay so conveyor power uh cargo containers um it's building itself we can build gyroscopes we're fine with that now um yeah we can enable gyroscopes we've built those um we've built programmable blocks right um Build production blocks, but I'm not sure if there's anything that still unlocks there. So we're going to leave it alone. Again, I don't know functional blocks, what they are, right? But until I'm certain we've sort of built all the big groups, um, I, I, I don't want Built and Repair to take any of the work away that we should be auto welding. But other than that, fire away. Let's just let it do its thing. Right. And this is again the beauty of the inventory management because it's just going to keep up, uh, keep, keep everything stocked while build and repair is doing its thing and it's going to request more components and all that good stuff. Now there's a way of actually hooking build and repair into the inventory management, but I don't think we need to worry about that. If we just keep the numbers, you know, well stocked, we'll, we'll be fine. We'll be fine, I'm sure. Um, let's, however, I would like just a healthy amount say of those and just give me a whole bunch of like steel plate that I can just put down and I'm not going to tell it oh I'm going to help it out a bit like I can do four blocks I know that but I can I can sort of help out there and it's going to make things quicker for built and repair now, see I like this and then the rest it can just do itself um Do we want to do a rover refit right now, or do we feel like I've not done this right? Like it's too fast, it's not. Are we turning at the right speed? Like, I. I... Give me two seconds here. Uh, where is that rotor? Advanced rotor. Uh, where is it? Velocity. Go and ramp up. I think that's where I've went wrong. And I feel a little bit apprehensive here. 
Uh, it's not that, it's these guys. Bring them back up, bring them back up, bring them back up. Let it clean up those voxels first. Like, uh, uh, it's fine, it's fine. So, yeah, build and repair is doing its thing. Hey, what's the car container situation like? I, I want to, I would like to see. It's still not ideal. Do we have mortars on this list yet? Okay, why do I feel the list got shorter? Hmm. It may just be me, but I feel like the list has lost a few components because maybe they disappeared and we didn't set numbers. I don't know. Um, I don't withdraw. Come on. Just a few mortars you're making. Oh, yeah. No, okay. You're just doing the thing yourself. Fine. Okay, you know what? I should be able to store quite a lot of iron. Right. So, here's what's going to happen. Uh, turn. I don't need those enabled. Uh, we're not. You are not hoisted up either, so this is fine. Um, I'm doing other things. Right now, TikTok, I, I can't watch someone's life, sorry. <laughs> um, let's go, and I'm just going to go to the pure iron thing, wherever that was. There, that's the guy. Um, we've got to go visit him quickly. Alright, with the rover now and, and work in pretty much order, this is fine, you know, like, uh, it doesn't take us long to get there. Uh, so yeah, let's let's go and do one iron run. I feel that's sort of necessary. And because I, I think we've used up pretty much all the iron that we had on hand, like proper iron. And I don't. I'm not meaning, you know, iron uh, from stone. I mean like actual this guy, red iron. <clears throat> So yeah, we can we can sort of stop here. That's fine. All right, handbrake, come out, um, get the drill out, and oh, I did not realise. So that's fine. Get rid of this bit. And you know what we should have done? We should have eject us on the rover. It's fine. I wonder if there's more iron underneath, like, or is it just the surface one? Going the wrong way here. Um, like, I mean, fine, there's still iron in here. But, like, is, is that it? Is, is that gonna be all of it? Dear Rover, where, where art thou? Wherever the light is, of course. Um, yeah, we've definitely added some weight, you can see that. Again, it's one of those things I love in Space Engineers, you can actually see when you're adding a whole ton of weight. Like I want to leave some of the stuff intact so I can make it out quite easily from a little distance, but
You know, I think that is it. Like, it. It doesn't look too healthy, to be honest. I mean, it's, it's fine. I don't know what I was expecting, but... Oh, we can definitely weigh the thing down quite a bit there. Um, I'm sure there's... Yeah, there's more here. I'm just... I don't know if it's stone or not. I don't care. Like, right? our refiner is just going to deal with it. Um, Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm basically just trying to get more iron. That's just the whole intention here. Uh, wrong button. Like say, don't mind me today. It's a Sunday. I've, I've barely slept. Oh, I think I, 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 I thank you for. Let's get back to base. Oh, I can I can feel it being heavier. But like going at what 26, well, nearly 30 meters a second, we've got a few hours worth of uh, energy. That's good. I don't think it's. It's. I mean, some batteries are still showing red there. That's definitely not a good sign. Did we put more batteries into this guy or not? I, I not remember. Is it just. Uh small battery. No, we definitely added more batteries, like... So it looked like... Storage... Oh, it's not too bad. Um... So, but this is fine, right? So then we're gonna just stay a bit away. Oh, I said stay a bit away. I, I need space. Well, we can... Move along. There, there we go. Maybe, maybe here. Right, and then because we know we have a whole inventory full ourselves, let's just go and deposit that. Right, and then oh, this this is looking already like it's built up another one. That's good. I like that. But before we build anything, make sure build plan is empty. I. I want to quickly have a look through hide all the empties right we have large steel tubes we have small steel tubes we have grids we have interior plates we have one display with construction components and steel plate other than that we have okay our cells girders so we will have a few things here that's good that's that's actually not bad because maybe Hmm. I would have honestly thought there was more, but okay. Construction components, I think we're going to just ramp up to 50 uh, displays. Sorry, 50, 50, 50, uh, 25, I feel like large steel tubes. Ah, uh, sorry, 50. Uh, metal grids, yeah, uh, do the same, right? I don't even care anymore, right? Radio communication components, well, we can say 20 for that. Uh, small tubes, well, no, let's go all out on that. And as a matter of fact, let's go and work through this again, what did I say? Um, now that is fine. Computers, definitely. Well, we're gonna amp that up. Construction components can be probably 100. Um, this place is fine. Girders, yeah, sort of. Because we're building bigger things now, right? I'm just ramping up the things that I feel we're gonna probably need quite a lot of. My grid is fine, power cells should be fine. Eh, okay. And then we could say make this a priority, for example, and instead of 500, I'm gonna go up to a thousand, right? 
and so now we've already learned something new there and we're working with these modifiers right and p is always q first so priority so i want to make sure that i've always got steel plate on hand just i i, I don't even care but what we should see now in the production here is that yeah there you go the missing items right is is it's the steel plates it's gonna be made first so as if it can but well we, we can help it out I'm sure um just grab everything we can I'm at the moment just iron no put, put that back um okay well we're apparently we're full well guess what not not for long it's fine because we can just do this can do the whole thing again. I and then if I just said iron, I think I can just do that, right? Boom, boom. Also say hide empties. And that should be all the iron we have brought him with us. Like your iron in. Um, stick that in there. Okay, looking good. Um, more components being made. I feel I want to have a look, quick look at production and see what else I could be doing with. Um, what else else we have? Motors. I mean, we've already lined up a whole bunch of things. The girders are being made, interior plate are being made. Uh, this place are being made. So how many is it really that we need? It's one, it's two, three, four, five, right, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, yeah, eleven, twelve. 13. 13 items we should see at the very least on here. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 13. Yeah! That actually sounds about right. Okay, yeah, cool. No, I'm happy with that actually. Cool, 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 cool. Um, I'm gonna build this guy up. I have had it. Like, what the actual heck? And I am. Um, Hoping and praying, and I'm, I'm positive almost, but should be. Uh, let, let's see. Uh, are you. You are joshing me with me, right? Uh, again, because we've said stone first, um, this actually makes sense. Hmm. We're gonna need more refineries. Like, uh, and I've actually boxed myself in with the design a little bit, but I will try and finish this cargo container off because that would give me access to enough piping I can then route somewhere where I can extend the base. Right, for crying out loud. Oh, we're not even making a fucking mortars. Please go and put it into production. Production. I should see a motor somewhere. Yes, please go and take this up there and then up there now, Even if we make it as next I don't our oh, inventory is full of the world oh, Gosh uh, We're actually in a bad position here. I've sort of shot myself in a foot Okay, uh, I have to come up with a solution stat I mean, like, super stat. Uh, fudge. I mean, this... Uh, okay. Give me... This guy. Just bear with me. I have a... Plan-ish. I think I need for that one plan. It's gonna be ugliest sin. 
but I think it's gonna have to be a thing right now. Uh, three, no, I want one of these guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. Give me the components for that, please. No, okay. Ignore that. Just give me. Can we? Did you give me anything from that? You didn't. Oh. I. Okay. Let me try something here. Give me. Rotor lock off, drill off, just stop doing what you're doing. Um, put all that stone in there. Um, I'm gonna have to try and offload just as much of this stone as I can. Oh, for goodness sake, Sebastian, what did you do? Or at least some of it make, I don't know. I mean, good grief. I was honestly not expecting that. Did we put that in the build planner? We did, so we're just waiting for the opponents to be... Okay, okay, okay. We, we I think... There. That guy I wanted. Oh, this, this is going to be, as I say, ugly as sin. Unable to place. Why is that, pray tell? It's, everything is in the way. Everything is in the way. Okay. Let's... Have an idea. Oh, I... <sighs> Nothing on this is... This, oh, God, grief. I, 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 I don't... Can we withdraw those things and then see if you will attach something like so? Right, bear with me because I think I'm gonna have to A, raise it higher. Um, okay, yeah, cool. You, you do that. You go and weld that. Okay. Then we are going to attach one of these bad boys. I right. there. That looks about right. Okay. And I know this is all janky and hanging in the air and I know, I know. I, I am well aware. Okay. Let's see how the inventory situation is. Okay. I think we are we're slightly better position. Um We need to see the production line. Uh okay. That was unexpected. Uh, okay, you you are you're now okay, you you're working through stuff. Um and I think I'm gonna just let build and repair do this, right? Just um, also we're gonna need more of these, and because I can't, of course. Um, yeah, I know I've boxed myself really in here. Can we access it here? Thank you. Just give me. I know, I know you need steel plate too, but I uh, trust me, it's for a good purpose. I never said today was going to be pretty, I never said today was going to be organized. Um, I am literally just making shit up as I go along here. <laughs> um, can we get... Is it that block? I think it is. Right. I would like it, obviously, attached to the base, which is I want to make sure I'm pointing at the right faces and things like that. But yeah, look at this, you know, things are getting welded up and it's going to take a while. Um, I'm going to leave you alone for now. Um, 
but this is gonna have to be a thing. Like, wow. We really did a number on, it, on our inventory there. Um, and it just... Ooh, yes, please. Just give me... If you've got a whole bunch of components, we'll take them. Because I'll help the actual production there as well. Uh, just, yes, everything. Just give me it all. Motor, all that. Everything, yes. I don't care. Ding, ding, ding. More stone. It's all in small cargo containers. Yeah, but we're gonna get rid of those because they are friggin' useless. Um, go and stick that in there. Nice. Right, I, I, I wish I could help, but... Like, I wonder, can I do something like so and just... Uh, you haven't even withdrawn anything, have you? No, no, that's fine. So, okay, well, we can do this thing, you know, get bottles refilled and all that stuff. But I, I can hear stuff being built up, that's a good thing, that's, uh, I like that. Come on. There we go, we're full now, and yeah, you're just sort of plodding along and... You're gonna tell me probably that you're short on iron again. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's exactly what it is. Yeah. Um, and and I think so. Here's another thing. I haven't actually considered that properly. Um, I think this too is a mistake for now. Unless we until we have more assemblers, which you know it's it's very soon to come. Um, very, very soon, as a matter of fact, because I, I need space and we need to get rid of resources and, you know, all that stuff. So, stop right there, turn you off, turn you off. I want to save energy here, please. Then, please put me up on the thing. Might as well. Because we're going to go and re retrofit him soon. Lock him into the ground and then I can... Yeah, we're barely, it's four hours of energy in there, and that's, I think that's real-time hours, like, that's actual playtime, not in-game time. Um, so, we're fine there, you know. Uh, anyways. So, yeah, you, you're building stuff up. I think we'll find that it actually is going to make a lot better progress, I feel. Like, if we just check the production right now... Ah, I see, look at this. It's it's actually working on components a lot. Mayor. Well, it seems disorganized, but it's actually sort of... Whatever components or... Not components, whatever... Ores are there, or, or you know, ingots are there. It's gonna use as quickly as it can. Um, okay, what, what is the situation with stone here? Still tons and tons and tons of it. And I mean... Actual metric shit tons. <laughs> um, so let him chew through that for a, for a while, I think, before we go and employ any more of this shenanigan. Right. Um, also, I wanted to test this button. Yeah, nice. You know the big red stop it all button? Shut it down! Shut it all down! Uh, nice! I, I like where this is headed so far. And so the thing we can do now is that we've got a bottle that's sort of sitting there and we can just chuck it into an inventory. Uh, I said we can just chuck it into an inventory if it's not full. Uh, my goodness. Uh, we are really, really struggling here. Um, so... The intention normally is that you could do something like so. No. Okay. Normally you can just dump it into a, a cargo container. Uh, the script will take it to the H202 Jenny here, right here. Fill it up and then bring it back into the container specifically just for the... Yeah, for like 
components like or for for tools like welders grinders bottles things like that it's making sort of one inventory for that particular thing this quickly um, okay. but yeah I you know this is going okay ish just waiting on components but it's it feels like because the refinery is that slow and I, just give me this slot back there that, that would do me I don't want to just go and attach something here it feels a bit very unclean would make me feel unclean. Um, although, could we? Could we shenanigan something? Like, okay. Let me try something here. We have. Just give me a hundred of them, because I, I, I am. Um, I want to see if I can help this whole production thing out. Right, go and build me up these blocks. Um, Trying to see. No, actually, that's that's not what I wanted. I wanted this away. And so my plan may be something along the lines of watch this. Um, yeah, you're gonna have to go to. And now this should all be attached. Nothing should fall. I hope. Like. Okay, good. Uh, give me just a... a sort of... Pipe junction, yes. Just give me one of those. Like, seriously? Have we still got something else on the build planner? Try this again. Okay, yeah. Place that there. And then just bring a pipe. Sort of... No, not, not a T-junction. No, no. Just a normal conveyor pipe, actually. Yes. Um, along... Actually, stop, 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 stop. Not a normal junction. I have a better idea for that. Uh, can we... Is there not a thing for... Pipe and pipe curve. No, okay. There's not. I was hoping for something along the lines of... Let me go and grab it then. Because the normal conveyor has these blocks. Which I really, really like sometimes. Um, is it? It's, it's, I think it's... Yes. So, uh, not a conveyor. Uh, not a junction. Tube junction curved. No, just a normal tube, like so. Yeah, reinforced. Right, and it gives us basically the walkway we want. And then I can come up again, actually, here. Can I? Like, that would give me the path to walk along. And so, back to this guy. Yeah, it could be a pipe junction right there. It brings us up. And I like to do it in junctions, like it's it, it makes more sense to me, right? Um, and yeah, you do, you're just gonna slowly but surely build up this stuff. Um, and we're gonna need obviously a f framework to sort of put this all nicely together and give it a base to work off. Because now comes the big boy tools. Because watch these guys, they are freaking uh, humongous. So let's go and get rid of this, yeah, basic refinery, basic assembly. I would like first a refinery, please, and we're gonna just do the plus thing, and then there's the same thing for the assembler. I assume. Well, okay, so we get this assembler, or we get the industrial assembler. Um, I mean, I love the industrial assembly, but it is humongous. I think we're going to just go with a normal one for now. Okay? Five. We need a decent... So there's a port. It's got ports on the sides there. Those at the back, they are upgrade ports. They are not for cargo. Okay? And we're going to be dealing with those soon. 
but with those upgrades. And I think that's something that I would need to actually, yeah, build first before I can use it properly. Now, I wonder... Okay, that's going to block access to that. I thought that. So, what... If we done... Maybe this. Although, then the problem... No, it's the upgrade. No, the upgrades would still be in the way, really. Uh, not, not really. Okay, sod it. We'll put it down. This guy, I want welded up as soon as we can. Yeah, and this is why I was <laughs> taking a, a thousand into account straight away. Because <laughs> I know how expensive these guys are. Like, it's it's horrendous. Um, but I feel actually like... Where is this normal refinery? It's, it's working through the stone. Is the... See, I haven't checked on survival kit. Yeah, see? I'm going to make... I'm just going to go absolutely bonkers on that. Because I know we have that much stone. That I can just let it do that thing. That's, that's all the survival kit is going to do. It's literally just turn the stone... Um, and there is a setting, actually. Wait, I, I should have thought of this. Okay, eh, time to learn something new. I am sure, if, I, if I've not misread, there is a thing in the script, right? So, when you go into, when you're not happy with this, the way a script is behaving, you can actually go in and change the behavior. You can you can change variables, you know, things like that. Um, no sorting, no IIM, balance type container, show fill, never fill. I'm looking for a, there's a setting that basically says that if there is a assembler in the in the grid it won't use yeah we need to set this to false i think oh no 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 auto craft ingots from stone and survival kits until you have proper refineries enable basic ingot crafting true yes but we we don't want it to disable at the moment. Right? Am I just gonna set it here? Um right, because I want the help of the, 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 the survival kit at the moment. Okay. Say okay. And it should just literally recompile itself. If you're not entirely sure if it did, recompile it, okay? Um, it just gives it a chance to really pick up all the variables, var variables again, all the items, and and this is true for any script, not just inventory management. Any script that may misbehave or you're not sure if it's behaving correctly, just recompile it and see how it goes from there. Okay, um, best piece of advice I can give. So let's have a look here. Okay, stuff is being made. This is good. What is the survival kit looking like? And okay. Okay, so it's helping making components, which at the moment I don't even grudge it. Okay, cool. Let it do that. Um, can we move? Like if I disassemble him, he's going to lose his functions, I'm sure.